Catherine, I love you so much. On that snowy Seattle day in 2019, I got your dating app match. I sent you a message and what followed surpassed anything I could have imagined. We clicked so easily and everything went smoothly. I fear that's how the first few weeks of a new relationship go, but then it continued. Months, years, even through COVID, we made it through together. On February 10th, 2019, I met this guy who is now standing across the aisle from me. I knew after our first date that the search is over. I had found my unicorn. Andy and Catherine, two and a half years ago, you committed to a relationship of unknown possibilities. Since day one of your relationship, you have grown together. You took a leap of faith in yourself and in each other to build a solid foundation for marriage. The possibilities and potential of your married life are great and now fall upon your shoulders the task of choosing your values and making real your dreams. Even now, standing here, I still can't believe this day has finally come. I finally get to say I do to the man of my dreams. It has been a long time coming to say the least. My family and friends have all heard me whining for years that why is it so hard to meet the right guy? Everything feels right with you. I can be my silly self and know that you are just as silly as me. And as you know, expressing that part of me isn't so easy. I'm thankful to have been with you for over two years and for many more years to come. You continue to surprise me, or I should say how well we work as a team. Continue to surprise me. During the pandemic, we were stuck with each other in our 700 square feet condo 24-7 for more than a year because we were both working from home. I was worried that we would get tired of seeing each other day in and day out, but we didn't. Instead, this experience made us stronger and closer as a couple. You're wonderful. You're smart. You're beautiful. You care so much and are so thoughtful. Even when I try speaking my terrible Chinese, it always brings a smile to your face. And here you are now on the verge of getting married. There's no doubt that this is right for me, for us. A quote from one of my favorite rom-coms says, it's not who you want to spend Friday night with, it's who you want to spend all day Saturday with. Andy Lou, I vow to spend not only Saturdays, but all the rest of our days loving you. I promise to love you. I promise to listen and care for you through both good and challenging times. I promise to be patient, even when I can be stubborn at times. I promise to keep sharing our enjoyment of food. I promise to be your old soul, to be your lifelong partner into the rest of our lives. I love you, Catherine. <laughs> I promise to support your dreams and to respect our differences. I promise to keep going on food adventures with you and always send you cute animal pictures on Instagram. <laughs> and I will try to do dishes from time to time, even though it's not my favorite thing to do in the world. Thank you for always making me feel special and seeing me the way I want to be seen and loving me the way I want to be loved. I love you and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you.
to the hands of your best friend, full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will protect you. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you build your future together. These are the hands that will countless times wipe away tears from your eyes. These are the hands that will give you support and encouragement to chase down your dreams. These are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times and cheer you on when you make a delicious meal. These are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Andy and Catherine, you have come here today on your own free will and declared your love and commitment to each other. You have given and received a ring as a symbol of your promise to one another. By the power of your love and commitment to each other and by the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife, 